morning guys today is Monday and I'm gonna be finally starting back up on that one dragon that we were working on I have all the fabric pieces cut out and sewn together for the wings and I need to put some wire frames in these so I have those I've already put the wire frames together and we're just going to be kind of sliding them in and sewing all the wires in place and that's gonna take forever I've done this before and it just takes a very long time so I'm gonna get that done and I think we're gonna work on designing another creature and getting fabric and stuff cut out but yeah these are the two wire frames that we're gonna use for our wings and I just need to grab my sewing supplies and then we can get started on them I think I'll work on the smaller ones first because I'm not sure if we'll get all the wings done move these out of the way so yeah if you guys haven't seen me make wire frames like this it's pretty simple the main body of the wing is one solid piece these are just like little tiny pieces and what's holding them together is just some instamorph I found that bending it at an angle and putting some instamorph here tends to hold them together quite well instead of putting them together the way I normally put my wire frames anyways let's get these slid over I really like how the idea for this dragon is developing. I haven't quite figured out everything about it, but I do have a really cool idea for the face. And it's something I've never done before, so hopefully it doesn't turn out really weird. I mean, it's gonna be weird in general because the idea for it is actually quite strange, but I want it to actually make sense. Okay, so we have a wire here, here, and here. And I'm not gonna deal with putting the other one up. Yeah, just we'll do it just so it doesn't clunk around while we're working on it. I'll kind of keep it from being so noisy. So we're going to start with the top wire first. And again, I'm really debating on if I should be using black or not. Yeah, it might be harder to hide. Yeah, let's just do the black. It'll be easier to hide the black. We are going to start with the top wire that's right here and we're just going to kind of sew it into place. That way it doesn't move inside of the wing. Other than that, it's really simple. Just kind of time consuming because you want it to be positioned correctly. Lately, I've been coming up with some extremely strange, really interesting ideas for creatures and I'm kind of excited about it, but I'm also just kind of a little, I think I'm getting burned out a bit. So I'm trying to not overwhelm myself with ideas and not start everything at once. Because I want to start a lot of stuff, but I don't have the time to like actually work on all of them, so there's no reason to start all of them at once. I need to kind of just focus on getting one at a time done, which is really hard for me because I like jumping back and forth between projects, but if I'm jumping back and forth between too many projects, it gets annoying. So I'm focusing on this, and I want to do a mermaid but not like a normal mermaid where it's kind of really humanoid I want to make it more fish like and I almost want to make it look like something from like the deep so something that might have glowing effects kind of like an angler fish mermaid I want to do something like that so I can make it kind of look spooky so I'm gonna try and figure out the pattern and the fabric that we're gonna use for that today figure out how I want to design the face and stuff because I don't want it to look too human like but I do want it to have like some human features. I also have a few different types of dragons that I want to design. I've got one done and once I get to where I can actually post it because I've got a bunch of other videos ready to post um, you guys will see it's really cool. Basically my idea for this one was actually someone's suggestion and I want to kind of do other dragons similar to it where it's pretty much I turned a different creature into a dragon and I'm trying to think of really strange creatures that could become really cool dragons nothing too too hard like one would be kind of interesting but also really hard would be like a giraffe but I'm not sure how to design that yet but I still think that would be really cool to try and make a giraffe dragon <laughs> but yeah I want to design some really strange dragons based off of creatures you normally don't base them off of because um, most of the time when you do dragons you kind of pick like a reptile or something like that to base the design off of but I want to design it off of like really obscure creatures or just simply creatures that you really wouldn't picture as dragons 
You know what's funny is the swirly black fabric I'm using for the under part of the wing. It really wasn't what I originally wanted. It was just the only black fabric I kind of had, so I just went with it. But I think it's going to add a really cool touch to the dragon. Or wyvern. I think it's funny that um, a few years ago I made a lava wyvern video and I get comments on it that people are upset that I'm calling it or I have it called dragon and wyvern like I have dragon and wyvern in the title and it's mainly so it'll show up in search but I've had people complaining that I'm calling a wyvern a dragon and for one dragons are mythical creatures and two wouldn't it be kind of like a subcategory of dragons kind of like how uh, what is the saying you know how all toads are basically frogs, but not all frogs are toads kind of thing? I would assume it's similar to that, like all wyverns are dragons, but not all dragons are wyverns. But yeah, apparently some people get irritated if you call a wyvern a dragon and a dragon a wyvern. I think it's kind of funny. Oh, this is starting to look really good. I like that. Let's see how the other side's looking. Oh yeah, that's what I want it to do, is I want it to pinch and kind of pull the fabric together so you can still see where the fingers of the wings are, but not show the black thread. Okay, so we're doing what I want to do. Okay, so I got all the little fingers sewn into place. Ooh, this one somehow popped through. Not sure how that managed to happen, I'll have to fix that. But pretty much all the fingers are sewn into place. It's really good on the black side, you can kind of see them a bit more. And then all the stitching is hidden on the other side. So I've got the kind of mint wings done and the blue ones. And now what we need to do is we need to do the arm portion of it. So basically how the wing needs to be is there needs to be a little bit of a webbing up here. So I need to sew and separate a portion up here and then to sew and separate the rest of this. That way the wire for the frame is inside of a separate spot. So we're gonna kind of make like a little L shape going here. So this is going to be interesting because how I like to do this is by using the sewing machine which is really hard to use the sewing machine when you have a wire frame involved so you'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I decided to put some pins in place because I really can't draw out where I want to sew so I'm just going to kind of try and match it on both of them and what I'm going to do is try and squeeze one of the wings into place and start sewing. I think I'm going to do the top first and then I'll do the under part of it. And basically I'm trying to sew around the wire frame that's bent in here. That started. Following that wire. But yeah, this is what it looks like. You can kind of see it on this side. It'll show it better on this side, but that's what I ended up sewing into place. It's just a nice little arm muscle thing. And it, I can't get that close to where the Instamorph is because it just won't fit under the sewing foot. So that's as close as I'm gonna get, but it'll be pretty much fine. I, like I said, this part's not gonna get stuffed. It's mainly just to keep the wire from sliding around inside of the wing. But this part I can probably get stuffing into. Okay, so I got the wings done. Here are the mint. They are pretty large. They're not too, too bad. They're more lengthy than anything. And then I've got the blue ones. Whoop, I hit a light. But here are the blue ones. These are the larger ones, and I really like these. These are gonna be the main wings. And pretty much they are gonna be layered kind of like this. They're gonna be separated. I'm not sewing them together or anything, but they're going to be kind of layered where you'll see the mint over the blue. I think I'll have the mint like that. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. They look pretty good, they're huge. <laughs> but yeah, I pretty much have these all done. I think I might paint them when we have the wyvern put together, but right now they're pretty much all good. And I actually, again, really like the black back of them. I like the swirls and stuff. I'm debating on when I paint them to add a bit of a highlight so that the swirls show up a little bit more or to just leave them the way they are. We'll figure that out later. Okay, so now what I want to work on is the pattern for my anglerfish mermaid. So I need to figure out the tail and the body, and I'm not really like going to make like doll parts or reuse doll parts or anything, because I'm going to go kind of on the creepier side. So we'll have to figure out how much of the arms are going to be clay and how much are going to be um, fabric. And then of course what fabric we're going to use. But I want to figure out the tail, so... 
start off with a shape. <laughs> I don't think I want to do it too, too large. I want to kind of keep it a little on the smaller side. You know what I need to do is I need to Google what angler fish tails look like. <laughs> okay, so they're not very big, so we can kind of like... I'm going to keep the tail pieces all connected and just kind of sketch everything out, but most likely the fin itself is going to be made out of like felt or a thinner fabric than the main body of the tail. This will probably be like a sequence or something. So let's just get a basic shape for that. I'll redefine it more once we know what we're dealing with. Marking out where the tail is and just continuing the shape. I think that would be more of a side view. I'm not 100% sure if that would work. Yeah, I think for connecting the arms, we're gonna have to do something really different. But I think we'll do that. We'll have like a fin kind of going down like this. Uh, we could do one going down the belly. This would be like continuing down here. Hmm. I'm debating on this one because that's basically where it's going to stand, so maybe not that. Maybe we could do just kind of like a small one and have it stop right about where it would sit on it. Okay, I think something like this could work. I know it looks extremely weird, but pretty much this is kind of flat, but when it's stuffed it's going to be a little bit more expanded. So imagine this more 3D and then you would slide this over the neck, kind of like football armor. <laughs> and then you would have the shoulders kind of sticking out more. And then you'd sew them along the side of the body. And then the arms would connect here. And I think the lower arms are gonna be completely clay. So I've just made the upper arms. So yeah, it would kind of look like that, I think. I'll know more once I try putting it together, but for now I think that looks good. I just need to get the fins figured out. So I think I'm gonna go with kind of a green color palette. Main body can be this olive. This would work really well for the tail. I still need to find a felt for the fins, but I got that. I can add some darker blues to it if I want. Um, I'm gonna use these eyes because they're kind of a greener color and I'm going for more of a monster feel than Pretty Mermaid So I figured those would be nice and bug-eyed for it. If I want to do hair I was thinking I could have some of this go off of it But I'm not 100% sure if I even want to do hair because I am gonna be making it an angler fish I need to do the little Angler thing that dangles from its forehead and I haven't found a gem yet for that, but I'm gonna keep looking But yeah, I think these are the main colors that I'm gonna go for for our angler mermaid Okay, so it looks like we got a lot done today so far This is what I got done on the wyvern the wings are done everything's cut out most of the sewing is actually done too So I think I'm gonna start on the clay pieces pretty soon and then this is what we got done on the angler mermaid We made the pattern got everything cut out I just gotta figure out how we're putting it together. And then I also got fabric cut out for another piece that I'm working on. Anyways guys, I think I'm gonna call it good today. Like I said, I need to get started on the clay pieces soon, but it's kind of late, so we'll probably end up working on those tomorrow. Not sure if I'll end up vlogging that. I'll probably just save it for the actual tutorial video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.